After some requests, I've been asked to review a couple different applications or third-party applications uh, that I've installed using uh, this installer.app, which I've explained uh, in previous videos. Um, the program that I'm going to focus on today is actually called Apollo IM. And Apollo IM just came out with its uh, 1.0 release uh, just this last week. Um, before it did exist in alpha form, uh, but it only had uh, AIM Messenger, AOL Instant Messenger, but no .Mac support, which was very strange. Um, what's great about this type of application and what all of us have been waiting for is that it's a type of ADM or Trillion or Mebo uh, that allows us to message all of our friends and connect into multiple accounts, MSN, uh, ICQ, AIM, or .Mac accounts and be able to message them all for free using the internet connection instead of paying 10 cents a message through SMS or um, you know, paying AT&T X amount of dollars to have unlimited or, you know, X amount of uh, SMS messages. And that could get pricey if you're a big SMS messenger. Uh, but it also allows you the convenience to, you know, message all your friends through MSN, ICQ, .Mac, and AOL Instant Messenger, and hopefully very soon Yahoo Messenger and also Gmail services. Um, when you go into the application, you'll see here at the top right corner, if I can get it to zoom in, a login button. Um, and then also in the bottom, you'll see an edit button to the left and an add button to the right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on add so we can go ahead and add uh, a service. And that's one thing really quick uh, that I want to kind of portray about this program or, or tell you that the buttons don't work that well. Um, I don't know if it's my fat fingers, which most likely it is, um, but um, other applications seem to work a lot easier with the buttons, whereas this one you have to hit a button a couple times or just get it just right for it to work. Um, let's go ahead and add an account, the MSN. And I made up a tester one just for this video. Okay, after you've set up your uh, account, it gives you the option to adjust the server and port, which, you know, if eventually AT&T um, or your service provider blocks these ports or servers, um, it'll still allow you to be able to connect into MSN, ICQ, or your other messengers. Um, after you've added your information, you go ahead and hit save. And then here you'll see it across the top, uh, the account that I just made. And it gives you the option to either turn it off or turn it on. And so if you have multiple accounts, um, it'll allow you to you know, only log in to certain accounts uh, or the ones that you want to basically. So we're going to turn it on right now and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the login button but I'm going to have you focus in here down at the bottom uh, to kind of see the status bar as you're logging in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit login here. And then once you're logged in, that was kind of really quick, um, you can see that it shows all your uh, contacts. And like I said, this is just a tester account, and I set up one uh, tester account to work with it. Now, obviously, you would have more than just one contact unless you don't communicate with a lot of people. Um, in this case, I'm just going to show you for example. Uh, you'll notice that up here in the top right corner, there's a green button, and that's an away button. That tells you that you're away from your phone um, or away from uh, your messenger. And so you can go ahead and hit that just right, and then it turns red, and that tells uh, the other people that you're connected to that you are away from your phone. You hit it again, and you come back to green. Uh, there you'll notice that there's also a button at the top that says log out and obviously your contacts. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and click on one of your contacts to communicate with them. And then what it does is it pulls you up into this arena where then you can type a test message to your buddy. At that point, they can go ahead and send you a message back. And it pops up like that. Um, you could do test two or test three, test two or test, <laughs> test two, and there you go. Now it gives you an option up here now to X out of the conversation or go back to your buddy list 
If you go back to your buddy list without Xing out of the conversation, you'll notice that the circle has changed from solid to now outlined, uh, which means that you're in a conversation with that individual. So if you click on it again, just right, uh, it brings you back to your conversation. Or you can hit the X button, and now it's back to solid. Um, what's great about this is that you can exit out, and you're still connected. Now what happens if someone sends you a message while you're sitting like this? You get uh, basically the sound that you would hear maybe with an MSN messenger, and it tells you a number. Now I think it's weird that it says two, uh, if you can see that there, uh, just because I only sent one message, but yet it counted as two, which is obviously a bug that they're still working on. I'm going to send another message. You can see it went to three and then to four. Now let's go back into IM, and it shows iPhone 2 sent a test message iPhone 2 set the second message. So it, it, and it, it basically pops it up really quick and then also shows a little tiny 2 right there to show that you have two pending messages, which is pretty cool. You know, it, you can tell that they spent you know, a little bit of effort or, or good effort on this application. You know, we can send back. And we're good. So that's basically Apollo IM. Uh, what they have so far pretty proud of them that they did a really good job. Uh, obviously there's still several kind of tweaks and stuff they need to work out. As you can see there's still you know the two there which is something they still need to work out. Uh, but we're on the right track and very soon uh, Symphone users are going to have a nice application that will allow us to log into all of our different accounts and it will be nice. Uh, hopefully that was a good demonstration um, and we'll encourage other people to also not be scared and hack their phones as well because it just opens it up, opens up your phone to just uh, limitless uh, possibilities. Really cool. So anyways, hope you like that.